get shit, bitch, you can't clock my yeah. wheel Gucci bag on my arm, you know me, I ain't soft No, I can't see the talk, y'all gon' hate in the dark See my feet, it's gon' call yeah. bitches no Hi guys, it is Cami, and welcome back to my channel. So I'm back, we're back like a crack. Today's video is going to be an assumptions about me. I see these videos all over YouTube and I love watching them because I feel like it's so funny to hear what people think about you. So on my Instagram, I did a post where it said, make sure you guys tell me any assumptions you guys have had of me, if you met me before or anything that you guys think about when you see my Instagram. So a lot of you responded back. So my sister's gonna be here reading them for me because I haven't even went through them yet. So all the reactions that you see are gonna be my first initial reactions and let's just get straight into it. I'm excited. All to y'all shape. She's about to read the assumptions starting right now. I assume you want to be my friend. Um, yeah, I want to be everybody's friend. Um, everybody and I start off as friends and then, you know, things just happen after that. You won't let me fly you out. Um, I'm not against you catching any flights, baby, because we catch flights and not feelings. <laughs> It just depends on who wrote that because I don't just be flying anywhere with strangers, especially alone. You dropped that girl because she never knows how to be a friend. Wow, um, that was a lot. To answer that question, I guess, yes. I'm a person where like, I'll let you do me dirty mad times. I'll be there for you whenever you need me at the drop of a hat. But eventually, if I see that you're not there for me as much as I'm there for you, then it's just clipped. Like, if you don't know how to be a friend or just a regular human being, we don't need to be friends and we just don't need to be associated. But it's no bad blood. I wish her the best. But on to the next. You're an asshole. Oh! Oh my gosh! No. 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 Well, it depends on your perception of an asshole because I also feel like I'm a very blunt and honest person and I don't feel the need to be lying to people. And some people really appreciate that about me, but some other people might think that I'm being an asshole, but no, I'm not an asshole. Hollywood. I wouldn't say that I'm Hollywood, just more so I have high standards and I'm allowed to have high standards because I'm the one keeping those standards. And so I just have to be very, very picky to what I give my energy to and to what I do with my time. Oh, I can't say this one because the N word. I'm gonna say, <laughs> how many guys really be on you? No funny shit. I'm not even gonna toot my own horn. Like, it's a lot. A lot of guys hit on me, but the question is how many guys do I entertain? None, because I get annoyed easily and I'm very, very, very picky. Like, I'm very picky. Like, if your hygiene is bad or you don't have good manners or like, I don't see your teeth on your Instagram profile, I'm just gonna assume that your teeth are ugly and then there's nothing else to speak about. But, um, yeah. Mean as fuck, but my spirits tell me you're such a sweet soul. Yes, I'm a really nice person. Like, if you really know me, you know how sweet I am and I'll do the most for my loved ones. Like, I will go all out. If you first meet me, you'll probably think that I'm being really cold and distant, but that's just because I'm just a very closed off person until you get to know me. Where do you be eating at? I wanna eat good too. Um, as you guys can see on my Instagram, I have something called the Lavish Eats Highlights. I eat a lot of places. I really can't answer one place because I eat almost everywhere. Probably my favorite restaurant in the whole entire world is STK. Everybody knows that already. I love STK. But you can probably find me at most of the time, like either restaurants in my neighborhood. And I'm not gonna name those places because those are my holy grails. But like I always tell people, if you have a question about where I'm eating, just DM me and I'll answer you. You're a very private person. Big fact. I'm a very, very private person. Like I don't like people in my business at all. And yes, mm -hmm. I'm a very private person. The assumption was right, yes. Your mom put, are you conceited? Question mark. My mother. Mm. I think that I definitely give off that vibe, but I am not at all. Like I, mm -mm. I there are so many days where I'm not feeling myself. I'm not feeling like it. And I definitely don't think that I'm the prettiest girl ever, but I do know one thing. And that is that I can run miles around you girls when it comes to dressing. Next. <laughs> what do you do for a living specifically? No shade though. I'm just jugging and finessing, just kidding. I do a lot of things for a living, as you guys can see. I work at Stadium Goods, 
and then I do a lot of freelance things on the side as far as like casting, styling, but a lot of things are in the works right now because I'm trying to be somebody who makes a living off of a bunch of different things and I don't want to just focus on one thing. I want to have a bunch of entrepreneurial businesses. I want to have my foot in almost every single kind of water. I want to master almost every skill. So I'm going to be a woman of many trades. You're a bad bitch, a whole ass bad. I'm a bad bitch, mm, period. You wear sunglasses a lot because you're insecure about your face. No, 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 no. If you know me, well, I think I've mentioned this before, but the reason why I wear sunglasses all the time is because I have the worst, like my eyes don't produce enough water. So I wear sunglasses to protect my eyes because if I don't wear sunglasses, like in the beginning of the day, my eyes would be mad sensitive and I'll be blinking profusely. But I also like wearing sunglasses because I don't need everybody looking at me in my eyes. Like, you don't need to see this. I remember one time I was at a party and I had on sunglasses and some guy was like, I like that I can't look into your eyes. It keeps a secret, makes you mysterious. And it does, like, you don't need to be seeing that right now. You don't. And this eye contact is only for a select few. All you do is eat out and dress well. No other hobbies, interests. You probably do, but don't share online. Well, I can definitely see how my Instagram makes it seem like all I do is eat out and dress well. Those are two really good facts because it's the truth. And actually on my Instagram, everybody knows that I work out and also everybody knows that I read because on my Instagram, I'd be sharing the books that I'm reading. I do work out a lot. I read a lot. I like to read a lot because I think it's important to educate yourself. But I also love going out to eat and shopping. So you weren't wrong there. You're too bougie. Why can't you tag the restaurants you go to? think we're too poor huh wow that was a lot of internalized things coming from me like what are you feeling inside baby but no okay the first part of that i'm too bougie i wouldn't say i'm too bougie because i've definitely been in the trenches and i conform to all my surroundings and i don't ever say no to going anywhere i like trying new things but also i'm high maintenance because i'm the one maintaining it but I wouldn't say I'm too bougie because no, nobody's ever too bougie. Like there's a lot of girls who try to act like they're too bougie for things, but no. And the second part of that, I don't tag where I'm at because I don't need anybody in my business like that. Like if, like I said before, if you guys have any questions onto where I was eating, a lot of people DM me like, where is this? And I tell them immediately. I don't just ignore the DMs. I don't dub them. I'm, I love telling people new places to go to, but no, like on my story, I just don't want to show you guys where I'm at at that very moment. Oh, that's a good one. You had it all figured out from the job. That's a good one. That's actually very true because if you guys know me or you've been following me for a long time, I used to be in college, but I was spending mad bread on things that I was already certified in because I went to a specialized high school. And I was going to college for the same thing that I learned in high school. So I got presented a really good opportunity while I was in college. So I left college and I always said I was going to go back, which I might. It just depends. I'm so young. If I go back to college, I'm going to go back for something completely different, like completely different than what I do now. But right now, I feel like I'm just betting on myself because I know what I'm capable of. And if you feel like college is not for you, just make sure you have a plan and make sure you don't get lazy because some people, when they don't have a daily routine or have a set schedule they don't know what to do with themselves so just make sure you have a plan but it's always good to follow your dreams you're not straight hmm. i am very much straight that's it okay guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's video um i think it was really interesting straight to the point let me know what you guys want from me in the future because I'm here to give you guys everything that you deserve. And I'm sorry once again for not being so consistent. During quarantine, I was very consistent. I was posting every week. But that's also because I wasn't going to work every day and I wasn't doing everything that I'm doing now. I get very busy. But like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and expect a lot more from me in the future. And make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Like I've been saying, because stop watching face, it's not cute. Make sure you subscribe and like and comment.